What's up you guys? Welcome back to your girl channel. My name is Mo if you didn't already know. In today's video, we're going to finally be doing my fully furnished apartment tour. So there are just a few little things. Um, my living room, my bedroom, my bathroom, everything is basically completely done. I do just have to add like a few different things, but I'll explain to you, you know, as we go through the video on what needs to be added. Only thing I will not be showing you guys is my guest bathroom and my recording room. Just because the guest bathroom, I have literally no idea on what I want to do with it. And then the recording slash dressing room, I want to actually bring you guys with me when I go and redecorate. I have some ideas. So, you know, I just want you guys to come with me. We redecorate the whole thing and see the full transformation. I'm going to make sure that I put every single link that I can think of in the description box for everything. If I do forget something, then make sure you guys leave that in the comment box so I can go ahead and, you know, answer to that. But I'm trying to think, is there anything else? I don't think so. So let's go ahead and get into this video. From the empty apartment tour, this is the front door area. All I do is have like these little um, bags that you can buy. I bought mine from Michaels and Victoria's Secret Pink. Um, these bags I just literally use for groceries when I'm bringing them up and down. And then I have a little umbrella right there. So it's not super fancy. I don't really care how it looks, but it's there for when I need it. So when you're walking into the dining room area, there is a little console table here and I did get that from Wayfair and then I have this really cute round mirror. This normally actually sells in Target but I did get the mirror from Amazon and then I got this little black vase from Amazon as well as the little, I can't even remember what you call these, the pumpus flower thingies. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I do not recommend these at all if you can find them in the actual store because these things smelled so bad and they still kind of smell like I had to spray them with some perfume for the smell to kind of get out. And then I got this little key holder, makeup holder, whatever you want to call it from Amazon as well. And it kind of goes with the theme. And then these little slippers, they don't always stay there. It's just kind of where they end up. So this is what this looks like. And then right next to it, remember I told you guys I was going to be changing my dining room to like my desk area. So this is what I ended up doing to the desk area. The picture at the top is actually from Ross, so I can't give you a link for that. But I do have this little calendar from Target. A lot of these things on this desk do come from Target. So this little flower, as you guys can see, if you do follow me on Instagram, this is always what I post. It is from Target as well. The pen holder actually comes from Walmart. The calendar comes from Target as well. I did order this phone holder just because I'm always on FaceTime and this is the only thing that doesn't cover the speaker. I ordered that off of Amazon. This here little, I don't know if you wanna call it like a, a shelf organizer, whatever it is. I did get this from Walmart as well as this little, um, I forgot what you call these. You guys, I'm so slow every time I'm on YouTube. But this thing actually came from Ross. So that is what everything on the desk comes from. And then I do have these little coasters that I actually have all over my apartment. And I did grab these from Amazon. It did come in a little set. And then inside the desk, I have some little books. These all came from Target besides this one. This one actually came from Marshalls. So that is what that looks like. My desk actually comes from Amazon as well. It is glass. And I did spray paint the little black legs. They were brown before and I just spray painted them so that they can go with the theme. And then the chair comes from Wayfair, which I'm so in love with because I wanted something very comfortable. I used to have like a little white swivel chair and it just was so uncomfortable I couldn't do it anymore. So that's very comfortable. And then at the bottom here is a little file cabinet that I did get from Target. I used to have like a really cheap foldable one and this one actually works very well so it's not just for show i actually do have things in there so this is my overall theme really really cute and super simple you guys i did purchase this um wallpaper from home depot i wanted to give this room like a little extra spice and it wasn't too too much it kind of added a little 
you know, extra theme going on to it. So I felt like the little black accent wall was super cute and with the lines and it, it just made it extra. So in this area, I'm kind of thinking about putting like a little area rug right here. I just don't want it to be too much. So you guys have to let me know if that's what I should do in here. So coming outside of my dining room slash, you know, desk area, you're actually gonna go into the kitchen. So nothing has really changed from the kitchen. It's very simple. I don't like clutter, so I didn't want it to look, you know, super cluttery, but this here little holder is actually the coasters that you're gonna see all around the apartment. This was the holder for it, and I did just set my candle in it. This one smells so good from Bath & Body Works. If you know me, you know I'm so addicted to coconut. So I have these all over. And right over to the sink area. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this in my empty apartment tour, but I have this little holder with a sponge. The holder actually comes from Amazon. The sponges come from Ikea. They're super cheap. I think you get like three for maybe a dollar or two, but I really like them because it kind of goes with the theme. It's like a white and a gray. So really cute. I like that. And then I have my little soap dispensers. I have hands and dishes. I did purchase um, this set from Amazon and it actually came with four. And the little stickers came from Etsy. All you have to do is search Etsy, you know, hands and dishes uh, decals, and then you'll see these on there. So I thought that that was really cute and it would actually add some super cute, simple spices to the apartment. And over here, I have my cheers rag. I'm not sure where I got this from, you guys. I'm so sorry. I want to say it came from at home, but I'm not 100% for sure. Over here, I have my cutting board that my sister actually got me from Ross. I see these in there all the time. And then I have my little fruit bowl. The bowl actually came from Dollar Tree, and it's just a little gold thing. Don't talk about my bananas, y'all. I don't eat them all the time. But, you know, they're there for when I'm ready to eat until they go bad. And then over here, I just have like my wine holder and I got this from Christmas, so from Christmas for Christmas, so I'm not sure where I got that from. I have my knife set that I actually got from Amazon. I was so shocked because I was actually looking for a knife set. I originally didn't want to put one on my counter, but my sister kept telling me, you need some knives, you need some knives. So I went on to Amazon and like one day these just popped up. So it was like, I got to get it. It's acrylic and it's black and it just matches the theme. And then I have these little salt and pepper shakers that I got from Target. And the salt and pepper actually came from Target as well. So I put those in there and just set them there. I'm not sure if it will stay there, but it looks fine for now. And then I just have my Keurig right there. So that's all that is in my kitchen. Last thing that is actually in my kitchen, I forgot to show you guys, is my little bar stools. These were so freaking cute and I couldn't wait to get these in. These were like the first things that came into my apartment when I got them. So all they are is these little metal bar stools. They kind of look uncomfortable, but I promise you guys, they're so freaking comfortable and cute. And they just fit the booty, perfect. Next to the kitchen, I don't know what to call this, but I guess it's like an accent wall. But I have these little cubes. I was originally going to put the cubes in my bedroom, but they didn't look right. So I just put them in here and then I added some little succulents inside. And then on the floor, I actually got these little grass, I don't know what you call them, you guys, but they're little grass vases. And I found these in Ikea. I've been wanting these so, so bad. I could never find them. And when I did, they were so expensive. So I think Ikea sells them for $20, which isn't bad at all. And they just look really cute. It kind of just adds like an extra little homey feel to the apartment. Coming outside of my kitchen is my favorite part of my apartment, you guys. I am so, so obsessed with my living room area. It's so freaking cute, modern, and chic. Like, it took me, I wouldn't say it took me forever because I can just vision things without even, you know, 
purchasing it. So this was very easy to actually style and get done. The first thing is my plant. You guys ask me about this all the time. I did purchase this plant from Target and it was pretty pricey, but I'm gonna be honest, you guys, if you're more of like a fake plant person, you know, I would definitely invest into some cute ones because I used to go to like Goodwill and stuff and it just isn't worth it. So I did purchase this plant from Target and I really, really love it because it takes really cute pictures or not takes good pictures, but you know, as a little accent, it does take, it has, it makes pictures really cute. <laughs> you guys get what I mean. So up at the top are some really cute photos that I actually purchased from AliExpress. Now, I purchased these photos during quarantine and it took freaking forever to get here, two months, but I'm so excited that I waited because I wouldn't have found anything else that I hope would have fit perfect and for the price that I got them for. And then over here is my couch. Now, this couch, I'm sorry if it looks weird. I'm trying to make it so that you guys can see it a little bit better, but this is a little black couch that I got from a place called Furniture Source and then I just purchased these black pillows from Amazon and I really 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 loved the way that these looked it just kind of gives the couch a really cute feel to it I have my little crochet blanket you guys actually ask me about this all the time as well this blanket I did make you buy the little you know crochet pieces from Walmart or uh, Michaels or whatever it is and you just crochet it at home it was very easy and super cute and I just threw that over my couch to kind of add like some extra gray flavor to the apartment. And then over here is my little carpet. I did get the carpet from the same place as the couch. It's called Furniture Source. So I'll make sure I try to link, you know, the exact link for the couch and the carpet down below, but it is very hard because I think the company is very small. And then I just have my little acrylic table that I got from Wayfair. I'm so in love with the acrylic theme. It's just so cute. It kind of makes the apartment look super huge. Even though it is, it just opens it up a little bit more. And then these are the little coasters that I was telling you guys about. They're all over the apartment. I have this black tray that I actually got from Wayfair as well. I felt like it kind of added like some more, you know, um, shapes to the apartment as well as with this little carpet and stuff like that so I felt like it would add a little bit more spice to it and then I put this little grass plant my sister actually got this for me I believe it comes from Ross I'm not 100% for sure and then I just put my remotes right there just because it's very easy to access so that looks really cute and then I got these little pom-pom beanbag balls whatever you want to call them I did get these from Amazon as well and it kind of goes with like the crochet theme of the couch so, you know, kind of adds a little bit of flavor to it. So I really, 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 really am obsessed with my living room. I'm so happy because I sit in here all the time and watch TV. And coming right over to my actual TV. So I got this little stand from Ikea. I feel like it was very cute and modern to put in here just because there isn't too many things in this apartment. And I just felt like it looked very simple. So on top of it, I actually have this, I don't know what you call these, it's like a little ball shaped thingy. And then I have a little fireplace and then a candle with a candle holder. And then what I wanted to do was actually hang up my TV, but I haven't had time to do all of that. So if you guys can imagine the TV being hung up with my little fireplace and the few little things on top of it, you know, try to imagine it because that's where it's gonna be soon. And right next to that is a little mirror that I have in here. I have mirrors every freaking where, y'all. Hey. So I do just have this mirror here. I did grab this from Target, I want to say about a year or so ago. I'm not sure. But it's cute. Y'all have to let me know how you're liking the apartment tour so far. Like, leave in the comments right now and let me know how you like it before we go to the bedroom. Okay. Room is my balcony. I'm sorry if it's loud out here, you guys. There's people out here. So this is my balcony. I have this really cute set that I actually purchased from somebody. And then I have some really cute flowers over here. So nothing major. Now, leaving the living room area, we're going to go into my bedroom. Ta-da. 
Ta-da! So you guys, this is my bedroom. I am so obsessed with this freaking bed, you guys. Like, I have the best sleep ever. Not just because of how it looks, okay? It does look good. But I have the most... I know you guys have heard of Lull. Lull is an amazing mattress place, you guys. It is so freaking soft. And for the quality of the beds, you guys, I have to say that that is the most affordable company that you could ever purchase a bed from. So I'm just going to leave a clip here of showing you guys a super amazing unboxing. A little bit more information on the Law mattress that I actually have. It was super convenient because they actually deliver it right in front of your doorstep. And all you have to do is bring it inside and it's super easy to set up. You just cut the box open, cut the plastic, and let it fluff out. For the best results, you want to make sure you give it at least 48 hours so that the lumps and everything else can flatten out and it can be the best quality that you can ever have. And I can honestly say, you guys, this has been the best sleep I have ever had as of 21 years of me living I have literally went through so many mattresses and this is honestly the best you guys can see it in the video it just explains itself pillows are even giving me life too you guys I am having literally the best sleep I have ever had lull is actually having free shipping so you can go ahead and try them out as well as a hundred nights for free trial so if you don't like it you can send it back but i promise you guys you are going to fall in love if you do want to save 150 dollars, there is a link in the description box so you can go ahead and click that and purchase your mattress there tell how the bed feels just by looking at it all right you guys so let's go ahead and get it back to this tour so my actual bed frame is from wayfair and my mattress is actually from low did grab this mattress duvet and the actual black pillows that go with it from amazon and then i have these really cute silk pillows that i did get from shein these two decorative pillows as well as the little blanket that i have on here is from wayfair as well so that is how the bed looks. Really cute and simple. And just so you guys can see the legs, they're gold and they're so cute. And then over here is my nightstands. So these nightstands came from Walmart. They were the hardest things to put together. Y'all, if you don't have anybody helping you, you're gonna be stressed out okay i'm not even gonna lie to you guys but they're really cute and different i do not like that you can see through them i had no idea when i purchased them that you could but it's whatever i don't put much in there anyways but they're really really cute and then i have the nightstand lamps which i got from shan which is really cute and different i didn't even know you know shan had stuff like this and all you do is just hit the button at the bottom and it lights up the coasters in here as well on both nightstands as well as this little charging booth thingy so i can actually charge my phone my apple watch and my airpods at the same time so you know you guys need to get one of those as well those come from amazon too this here is my tv area so okay 
let me just explain before y'all go talking junk okay my tv did get hung up i do have a little power strip cover that i need to still put on there and paint but i do have this little floating shelf with a little grass vase with my candle and then the candle holder so that's how that looks i'm not totally done with my room you guys it's very empty i do kind of want to put like a little plant over here i'm just not sure and i don't want to go you know buying stuff just because i need stuff in here you know i want it to actually look really really nice here is my little mirror that i actually got from walmart a few years ago and that's how this looks and then this really cute ottoman that my dad actually found and i put a little cover over it so that is the room really really cute and simple you know i'm not trying to be extra or anything like that just want it to be very very simple so that's how that looks and then over here on this wall, I have these little paintings that my sister's friend actually made. And I wanted it to be like a really nice, messy, marble, black, white, and gray theme. And I had no idea on where to put them. So this is where I put them. And it looks really, really good. Show you guys my closet. It's nothing major. But everything is kind of color coordinated. And then I have some little bins at the top. I did get those from Ikea. And I just have like, you know, scarves and all the extra stuff that I don't need shown up at the top. And then I have my shoes, dresses. And then I have actually more shoes here at the bottom tucked in. I don't know why that shoe is like that. But over here I have like two little ottoman chairs and then i have a pillow on top so in one has sandals and in the other one i think has some heels or something in it i can't really remember and then over here i have this little cube shelf that i actually had in my old apartment and it just has like bras panties and then socks at the bottom and then i just have my little jewelry that i put on i did get this stand from walmart and then this little thing came from shan so that is how that looks it looks really cute and simple just how I like it. So going into my bathroom, which I really am obsessed with you guys. This is the bathroom. I do still have the same white carpets that I had in my empty apartment tour if they were there. And then I have those, you know, dish hand soap bottles. Those came from Amazon in that set. These little two flower things actually came from Target. And then this little camel candle comes from a Yankee candle and it's coconuts. So I just turned it this way so it looks white. And y'all, listen. I know y'all see my toothbrush sitting here. You need to go and get one from Target. It's the best toothbrush I've ever had. It's very expensive, but it's so freaking worth it. You have the best, you know, breath, all of that all day. So this is the toothbrush you guys need to go and get, okay? Over here is just a little towel that I got from Target as well, just so that I can wipe my hands with. And then I have this toilet bowl cleaner that I got from Ikea. This trash can, I'm not 100% for sure where I got it from. I can't remember, but you can find those like literally anywhere. And then I just have my everyday towel there. And then in my shower, which I'm so obsessed with, people always ask me, why you got a plant? But I wanted a plant in here just to give it more of an earthy, you know, and clean theme. So in here is just my little plant. I have a table i think it's like an outside table and i got that from amazon i wanted something that i can like put my legs on or something to shave and that's what that is and then here are three little bottles that i got from amazon i'm gonna show you guys how they look like how they look like i'm not speaking english but how they look so 
that's the bottles. I got those from Amazon and then I just got the decals from Etsy and it just says shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Up here, I just have my shaving cream. I have my face wash and my razor. So really cute and simple. For here, I just have my scale so I can cry every day how much weight I'm gaining. And then over here is my linen closet. You guys got on me and my empty apartment tour. I'm telling you guys, oh my gosh. So many people were like, girl, that's a linen closet. You're supposed to put stuff on there, like your towels and stuff. So that's what I did. The bottom is my dirty clothes hamper. It actually looks like that, if you guys can see like the material and stuff on it. And then here is like some black washcloths that I have. This here is for guests. It's not really for me because I use the white. And then here it has my rags inside of that one. Here's my two towels. I do have more, they're just dirty. And then here are the two black guest towels. And then at the top is a little grassy vase. This is very, very simple. I didn't want it like too cluttery, but I wanted it to match like my theme of everything. And then over here on the door is literally all the robes that I own and they're very neutral colors. So I have this black Victoria's Secret one. Up here is my hair towel. This one is the Savage X Fenty robe. And then over here, I did get this one from Target. So that is everything. All right, you guys, so that concludes my fully furnished apartment tour. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you do have any questions about literally anything that I forgot to mention, then make sure you leave that in the comments down below. And yeah. So I'm excited to actually be able to record in my apartment now so you guys can, you know, see everything. I hope that there was nothing that I forgot and left out, but I think that was it. I know that the quality probably wasn't the best. The lighting in here is pretty good, but it's not like the best. So I tried my best to get every, you know, angle, every little piece so you guys can see it. Yeah, so I'm really excited and I'm happy to be here. So glad that I'm able to, you know, get all of the things that I like and, you know, just be able to decorate and do what I like to do. So that is everything for this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.